so you might be wondering, how do I do it so fast and so consistently? So right now on screen, you're, sh you're just seeing another few solves, and I am seem to be solving it in about 6 or 5 seconds pretty consistently, and you can do it too. But you need to use this method that I'm about to tell you about, the fringe method. Alright, so let's jump straight into the tutorial. So right now, this is a randomly generated scramble by the computer. So right now, first, I'm going to teach you the basic concepts of the fringe method. So firstly, you solve the first row, which is 1, 2, 3, and 4. I'm going to explain how to solve it later, but I'm just giving you the concept right now. And then you solve the first column, which is 5, 9, and 13. See it? It's the first column right here. And then you solve the second row, which is 6, 7, 8 right here. And finally, you solve the second column right here, just 10, 14. And then the rest of the puzzle is just trivial. Now I'm going to show you how to solve these rows and columns efficiently. So the, the big advantage of the fringe method is actually because you can do rows and columns really efficiently with a low number of moves and it has a really high TPS cap, which is turns per second, how fast you turn the puzzle. Alright, so here we have a 1, 2, 3, 4 case we gotta solve. I'm going to generate a harder one. Oh, this one's good. Alright, so first we need to note that we can insert the pieces in any order. But what we need is make sure that these pieces are in ascending order on the top. So right here, do you see it? I can insert it like this. Even though it is in 1 and 2 and 3 first, I can do 1, 3, 4. 2 is right down here. It doesn't matter because we can insert 2 by moving it to the bottom of 1 and then inserting it. Right now, let me show you a few different cases. Alright, so you see this case right here. We don't care about the other numbers. You're just going to look at a few different 1, 2, 3, 4 cases. So right here, we have 2 and 3 can be inserted in one move. And that's fine. Even though 1 is still right here, as long as the numbers on top are in ascending order, it's fine. And then we can insert number 4 first. It doesn't matter. And then we can move number 1 down there to insert. That's one case. Let's look at another one. Alright, here's another case. So right here, we can insert 1 and 4 together since they're so close. And meanwhile, 2 and 3 are a bit too far, so we're not going to touch them yet. So right here, we can insert them really easily and then only insert 2 and 3, which is a good way to insert it. Alright, right here 1 and 2 are already solved. And I'm just going to tell you about 3 and 4. If you want to insert 3 and 4, you can make them into one of these two patterns. First pattern is make them align like this. 3 and 4, 3 on top, 4 on the bottom, at the last column right here. And then you can just cycle them out like this. Or another way is, let me just jumble them up, like this. Another way is to move 3 and 4 right here. 4 is on top of 3 on the third column. And then you can cycle them up like this. So these are the two different ways to insert them. Here's another case. But this time, 1, 2, 3, 4 are already solved. You're going to randomly make something for 5, 9, and 13. So right here, we can see there's 5, 9, and 13 that we need to insert next in the first column. And how do we do that? Remember, we only have to insert them in ascending order. So right here, 13 is the easiest to insert, so we do that first. And then we can put 9 to the right of 5, and then insert them with 1, 2, and 3 moves. Here's another example. Right here, we see 13 is already in the column. 
but remember it belongs here. So the best way to put 13 is first move it down here because it's really easy. And right now, we can pair 9 and 5 up in two different ways. Just like, remember, 3 and 4, we can pair them up like this or like this. So that similarly, we can pair 9 and 5 up in two ways, like this and cycle it in. Sorry, like this and cycle it in. Or another way is pair them up like this in, this, in the third row and make sure they're in the ascending order. And then cycle them in like this. And then the rest of the puzzle is pretty much the same, just that it's smaller, so it's easier. But yeah, some people might face this case where 14 and 10 are right here, and they might face some trouble solving it. So right here, how to solve it is, move 10 away, move 14 up, move 10 back, and cycle the whole puzzle. So right here are the basics of fringe. Now for some example solves. Right here, I generated the scramble. So right here, we see 1 and 2 are really easy to insert. So we do them first. And secondly, we can insert 4 and 3 using the second way of the two ways I said just now, which is aligning 4 and 3 in the third column and cycling. Then right here, we see 5 and 13 are in ascending order, which is pretty fun because we can insert it really easily. Right here, we move 9 next to 13 and cycle it like this. And then we can use the same method. Uh -huh. And then we have this slightly confusing case, but we can still solve it really easily with the way I said just now. Finally, let me do some faster solves. So first, 2 and 3 are already inserted, and 4 can be inserted before 1 because it's in ascending order like this and then we can insert 5, 9, and 13 in a similar manner and then we have this annoying case that we can solve like this. So it's actually, with a lot of practice, you can do it really smoothly and you can reach times to like 4 to 5 seconds consistently even. Let me do another solve. Right here we can see 1 can be inserted right here and then we can move 2 right here. So we can do it like this, and then insert 4, and then insert the second column, and then insert the rest, like this. So yeah, if you practice, you can do this really consistently. Before you go, let me introduce to you the best lighting puzzle apps. I'm going to leave a link in the description. The best lighting puzzle app for PC is SlidySim, while the best lighting puzzle app for Android is Taps, which, the one, which is the one I'm using right now. And I'm going to link both of them in the description. Be sure to download them because it's much easier. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.